Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Buckhorn and welcome back to more WoW leveling. We are in the Nether Guard mine still, and we are about to head out to kill Chief Prospector Hondo. Uh, slay Chief Prospector Hondo. Use the inconspicuous box to disguise yourself along the way. I think I read this last time. Uh, if not, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. We have to disguise ourselves. Where do we have the disguise on us? Is it a quest thingy? Maybe I should have read it. <laughs> uh, use it. In oh, that's what it was. You have to use the the, 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 the this box. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bam! So let's put the box on. We are now a box. What's this do? Abandon the box. Okay. We are now a box. Let's see. So he's he's way over here. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a box moving along the rails. <laughs> Just a... Uh, I like how even when I move, it shows my feet walking. Cat, what do you want? Uh, that was Cat. He was meowing. Uh, it shows my feet walking. like doo -doo -doo, But then it's like... Boop. That's kind of funny. It's, like, it's the little details like that. Oh, boy. I hope they don't see the Midsummer Fire Festival thing popping up above my head. All right. Let's see. We got to keep walking this way. Look out, it's a box demon. <laughs> I like how they even, they're even just like, wow, Gadzooks, would you look at that? Box demons. Alright, yep, just pay no attention to that. That is just a thing. There's another inconspicuous box. Uh, we're almost there. There we go, just a little further. Let's move it in. How peculiar. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. There you are, Hondo. Chief Prospector Hondo. Is that a is, is that box walking on its own? Am I going mad? Quick, someone check the canary. Jokes on you. I'm a canary. Haha. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Bam 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 bam. Boom bam pow. He's dead. We did it. Uh, and I think I just take another box back. Alright, nobody saw anything. <laughs> nobody saw anything. I'm just gonna keep going here. I'm halfway to 57. When I hit level 60, how insane is that gonna be? It'll have taken years. Years of intense leveling episodes, but I will finally hit level 60. Uh, let's, uh, this way. And I, feel, I almost feel like I, I gotta keep going. You know, I gotta keep going. Maybe I'll make the episodes longer. Maybe I'll do more of them. Uh, but, you know, I'm actually getting an office. Because Dodger and Jesse and all those people got an office. And I was like, you know what? I think I could accomplish more work and do more stuff if I got an office too. So, I'm definitely not paying as much as they are. Because uh, they're also like all sharing an office, and I was like, I'd rather, you know, I don't need it to be like the fanciest office in all the land, but uh, I just want it to be somewhere I can go and get work done and then be like, all right, now I go home and I don't have to like st have that struggle of being like, oh man, I'm at home. Do I do work or do I play League of Legends? I'm going to play League of Legends. So it's more of a mindset thing. It's not really a like, you know, but it's, it's not bad because it's the, it's not the you know wake up at nine nine to five the grind the schedule that I always fail at uh, nice work man without Hondo these guys are helpless this mine will be ours soon enough we be done here man the only thing left to do is send a report to Okrila you doing anything right now deliver the nether guard mine report to Okrila at Dreadmall hold in the blasted lands well, let's roll out uh, but yeah it's more it's more of a mindset thing. I think that's the biggest thing with like schedules versus just having a dedicated place to work. For example, when I would go to the library cuz I really like to go to the library to write. Uh I would always like focus there. You know, I would always get work done there. I'd always write scripts there. And I realized when I first started YouTube, I would always write my scripts in school. And it was because I was in that school environment. I had nothing else to really do, nowhere to go. I mean, I could have paid attention, did homework and stuff like that, but no. I was like, 
I got, I'm going to write here. And I think that's always just been ingrained in my mind. And I think it's ingrained in a lot of people's minds where, you know, you're in that, that like office or school environment. You're like, I'm going to get work done. While when you're at home, as much fun and as great it is to be at home and to work in your, you know, by your, in your work from home. That's the thing I'm looking for. Uh, it's some people can do it. Some people are okay at it. I'm okay at it, but I prefer that kind of that place to go to to get work done. So uh, I plan on doing like a WoW leveling thing a day, and then uh, another video a day. And I think that's a pretty good amount of videos. Like one at one in the morning, one at night. Right. Uh, ooh, a fire festival thing. Uh, <laughs> And complete that free experience. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you probably don't even care that, about my office or whatever. You might care because you'd be like, oh, cool, more videos or like more machinimas or more higher quality things. But uh, yeah, I can even, I mean, I'll probably still stream like from both places. I mean, it's not like the office is like a 20 minute drive. It's like not that far away. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, Kra, you return, Zaluzaran. Oh, Krila glances over the report. Impressive, Zaluzaran. I wouldn't have hidden in that box, but otherwise you have performed bravely and admirably. The battle we won today may not win us any immediate spoils, but the damage you've done to the Alliance will last a long time. Uh, da -da 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 Wait, do I need something from here? I don't think I do. Mm, not really. I'll just take those. I meant what I said, troll. You helped me. Now I'll pass on what I know. A demon hunter recently came through here, but only briefly. He was headed south. Speaking of demons, normally I'd have slain the night elf on sight, but he didn't seem to be alliance scum, and anybody who kills demons is useful to me for the time being. You should check with Lenore and Drazial, a pair of blood mages I sent down that way. They've camped in the back of the ogre cave. Dreadmall first, blasted lands. All right, so they're in the they're in the back of the ogre cave. Let's go uh, pay them a visit. Uh, what was I talking? Oh yeah, office. If any, while well, I'm on that topic, is anybody else that way where you need to be in a certain spot to kind of have that focus or motivation to get things done? Uh, I think, I think most people are that way, but it's just it varies on what it is. Maybe. It doesn't even have to be work related. You know, maybe you like to draw or paint or do stuff in a certain spot. Like maybe you like to go to, you know, a, maybe you like to be in your room when you're drawing. Or maybe you like to go to the park. Or maybe you like to do, you know, it's, it's that same mindset of you do your best work when you're in a certain spot. I've always enjoyed an office environment. I think that's one of the reasons I want to try having one. I'm only having it for like a year just to like test the waters and I'll be like, I don't want to work here anymore. I'm going to go back to working at home. Uh, not that I couldn't, but obviously. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I always enjoyed that office environment, uh, but I didn't want to work for someone and work the 9 to 5 like office cubicle grind, you know. Like, be here at 9 a.m. sharp, and then your boss will watch... You know, like, if you're watching The Office, I didn't want to be one of those people. You know? <laughs> uh, like, I'm still my own boss, I'm still doing all that, but I have a dedicated workspace. That's really what it's more about, having that dedicated workspace that gives you that mindset. Uh, and I'm hoping that lets me make more videos, because uh, that's, you know, that's what I want. Uh, so uh, leave your comments below about that you know do you have a dedicated place you go for when you work or do your hobbies or even other people like that actually do work at home like if you do work at home comment and be like yeah I struggle sometimes or it would be cool if I had an office to go to or a place to go to or maybe you go to like a coffee shop to write or maybe you know maybe you're a writer and you like to go to coffee places or libraries and all that type of stuff so yellow swag uh, we need to go how do we get in here do I have to go in there or do I go up here I believe I go up here uh, speaking of which 
uh, not even speaking of which, this is just completely off topic. The Midsummer Fire Festival is here. And the Midsummer Fire Festival is probably my favorite holiday in WoW. Which you might be like, uh, why? <laughs> uh, and the reason is, I just love the, the feelings of the Midsummer Fire Festival when I'm playing. It's almost like a nostalgia thing. I think it's the the fact that it's summertime here, and every time it's the Midsummer Fire Festival, I go and I explore. You know, you got to go to all the zones and put out the fires and stuff. But you could say the same for the candy buckets or for uh, Halloween, right? You're like, well, why don't you like that holiday? That requires you to go out exploring too. But oh, here it is. Uh, but for that one, I don't know. I don't have the same feel with it. Like for the Midsummer Fire Festival, I relate it to like air conditioning. You know, the air conditioning being on. I talked about this in, like, this might have even been a WoW leveling, or it may have been a Warcraft 3. It was something like that. Uh, I think it was last Midsummer Fire Festival, to be honest. I love just that, you know, I have the air conditioning on. I remember playing a Rothy Basin. I remember, you know, running around putting out the fires. I remember the fireworks show more so than I remember 4th of July in a few years past. Uh, cause that happens on the 4th of July, right? Uh, yeah, the fireworks spectacular. You know, I just have, I have good memories tied to it. And that just, that tied with exploration makes me really like the Midsummer Fire Festival. So, uh, what's your favorite holiday? I mean, I have the, uh, a lot of people have also been asking about the Winter Vale machinimas. Like, you stopped at day six. That's because it got very difficult to do that every day. So I was like, you know what? I've done six days. I'm going to do uh, four for this year when this Christmas happens or Winter Vale or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it won't be as difficult for me because I'll already have six videos there. And then I'll have, you know, a backlog of six videos. And I'm sure a lot of people watching my channel at that time or discovering me will be like, hey, there's six videos I didn't get to see that are from last year. So that's the mindset behind it. And then I'll have 10 days of Winter Vale. So that's what I'm doing with that. Uh, it's weird because those videos didn't get as many views as I thought they'd get, but I thought they were some of my funnier uh, videos that I've made. I think that discouraged me from making Machinima for a while because I was kind of doing a decent amount and then I did that and I just pumped out those six Machinimas in a row. Actually it was five and I had a pointless top 10 for one. Uh, and then after that, I only made How to Win at ASMR, and I think that kind of discouraged me. I was like, oh man, like, they aren't getting the same amount of views I thought they'd get, so... I had that... It was, it's all with mindsets and psycho like psychology and stuff, but I was like, I guess people just don't want to see that anymore. They had good view... They had, uh, not good view, good like to dislike ratios, though, so I was kind of like... Mm, is it just because people aren't at home right now? <laughs> like... Are they busy on holidays? That's just, I think that's probably what it was. People just were out on holidays and vacation and breaks and stuff. But uh, that's what I plan on doing. <laughs> so uh, yes. I'm on a ramble again today. Okrila sent you. Okrila the killer. Lenore listens to your tale. Loramis was his name. I'm sorry to say that we have not seen your demon hunter. But we have ways of finding him. Whoa! Reputation for Orgmar, Silver Moon City now, Silver Moon City, hey! I admit we haven't picked the most convenient of spots to perform our studies, especially for passing adventurers who wish to enter and leave at will. Our agreement with the ogres is tenuous, and afra I'm afraid we can't convince them not to attack you when you draw near. However, I can allow you to attune yourself to our bloodstone teleporters. Simply place your hand. Simply place your hands on the stone to my right, and you'll be teleported outside the cave. Then use the stone to teleport back. Salama Ashalanore. All right, Salama Ashalanore. And oh whoa, I am indeed outside the cave, and now I'm back in the cave. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Excellent. Now that now that that's out of the way. Oh my God! I didn't mean to click of that face. Obtain nine vials of Snickerfang Hyena blood and nine vials of Redstone Basilisk blood to perform the ritual you've requested and perhaps some more rituals in the near future. We're going to need blood. The blasted lands are filled with every type of reagent we might need for our blood magic. 
It's just a matter of the correct combination. Lenore quickly confers with Dreziel for a moment. Basilisks and hyenas, even the mounts. And we're going to need plenty of it. Head east to the center of the Blasted Lands. And don't forget, you can use that teleporter. Oh, don't worry. I probably will forget. Uh, in fact, I definitely will forget. Uh, contrary to popular belief, blood elf blood mages do not drink blood. We eat normal food like everybody else. Something which can be hard to come by in the recesses of an ogre's stronghold. The ash main boars in the central valley of the Blasted Lands are, if nothing else, convenient for eating, as their meat does not require any cooking. Would you hunt these boars and help us replenish our food stores? Obtain five ash main steaks from ash main boars in the Blasted Lands. Alright, so we gotta go kill boars, hyenas, and basilisks. Sounds like fun, Larry. Isn't that right, Larry? Is that right? That's part where you do things. Is that right, Larry? Hey, I wish I had an office to work at where I could, you know, play games and summon blood boars and uh, 